Scott with Sean's Photography, and today we're going to talk about the Cheetah Stand Bar Clamp. Here you can see we have a Cheetah Stand Bar Clamp here. We have a Super Clamp and a Cheetah Stand Bar Clamp down here with an extension. One of the big differences between the Super Clamp and the Bar Clamp, the Super Clamp weighs a lot more and takes up a lot more space. The Bar Clamp, I can put a couple of these in and take up the same space as it would just one super clamp. What's nice about the bar clamp is that it mounts pretty much to any bar or tube. I like using these on my stands to add an extra light, add a reflector, add uh, an LED, uh, my monitor, uh, my tablet, all kinds of things. Whatever you can mount into this 5 8 receiver or onto the quarter 20 or the 3 8 spigot on the other side, whichever way you want to go. When you loosen this up, this is not going to fall off unless you over, overly loosen it and where the bolt will slide out of the receiver part of the clamp. So let's pull this out. <clears throat> Here you can see we have the super clamp in a profile position. Here you can see we have a wing nut, a washer. Here's the receiver part right here. And inside we have a neoprene rubber. So this neoprene rubber keeps it from sliding and slipping on the stand itself. So that, uh, and it will not mar your stand. So you will not mar your stand if you put it on your stand. What's nice about this bar clamp, it has a universal receiver. So that means you can mount vertical or horizontal. That's one of my favorite parts about these universal receivers. So like the Rolling Cheetah Boom, the Cheetah Boom, and the C12 stand, if you're buying from Cheetah Stand, all have these universal receivers. When you get the bar clamp, you'll get one of these spigots. Now these spigots have a flat side over here and a flat side down here. When you slide this in to the receiver and you lock it in on the flat side, this is not going to spin at all. It is locked in. The only way it's going to spin is if you left it loose where it can actually spin that way. But if you lock it onto the flat surface side, that's not going nowhere. You can see down below I have a extension arm. <clears throat> I love this because again I can mount it vertical or horizontal, whichever way. But with this extension arm, I can mount a reflector a little further away from my stand. I can mount uh, an additional light away from my stand. If I want to mount my tablet onto it, I can mount it a little bit further, or I can mount it straight onto the spigot if it receives a quarter twenty or three eighths or if the adapter is a 5 8 diameter. I use these in studio. I have a vertical crossbar uh, across my ceiling. And if I want to mount a hair light, I can mount a hair light into position without having to stand on the ground. When I go to a place that doesn't, I don't have a bar across there, I might use a uh, backdrop system and I will mount this onto the crossbar and this way I can get the hair light exactly where I want it as well. So again if you're mounting like a 600 and a remote head you can mount this onto your stand down to the lowest section to lower your center of gravity of weight with the 600 and have the remote head come up the stand. Same way with the 200 so just not limited to the 600, 200, you can do the exact same thing. Again, if the stand falls over, you would have the legs of the stand to protect the flash or the stroke. I've never had uh, a 600 or a 200 ever drop on me or fall over. Because I know I use sandbags on my legs or I use a remote light stand, someone to hold the stand sitting there keeping it sturdy in the wind so 
the chances of it falling over are slim to none. <clears throat> Again, this is the cheetah stand bar clamp. I have probably eight of these, or maybe ten of these. I don't remember. I lost count because I keep buying them. I really like them. They work great. If also besides this, you can actually take this spigot out. And if you have a regular light stand, you can mount this onto your light stand this way or sideways and mount a boom arm through the center of this and uh, again make a standard stand into a boom stand. Again, many, many options with this little bar clamp that you can use it for. Again, my name is Scott with Shalom's Photography. This is the Cheetah Stand Bar Clamp and thank you for watching.